Hi friends, it's Shay. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about Notion. And I know Notion can be super complicated, but once you get the hang of it, I swear it's like the most powerful digital system that you could use. And I've used Notion in my previous semester where I was so organized that I ended up getting three A pluses out of the four courses that I was taking that semester. So if you want to learn how to use Notion, for college, keep on watching. So here's a preview of the templates that I'll be showing you today and make sure to watch this video until the very end because I'll be showing you the most important features to use as a student. Okay, so let's move on to my template. So this is what my home template looks like. It's super simple and aesthetic. I chose a brown theme for this. And on the side, you could see an inspo column and I just put a cute picture that I found off of Pinterest. And then underneath that, I put a column for music. And this is a way to link other apps onto your Notion. And for this one, it's just Spotify. And I just found a nice relaxing study vibe playlist and then linked it on here. So you can easily change the playlist to one that you made yourself or something else that you like. And then in column number two, I have the due dates, deadlines, planner, notes, health, and habits. And then the third column is a journal. And then I made sure to make every single one a different GIF, GIF and it's super aesthetic and I really like looking at it. So let's go into the due date section. So for the due date section, I filtered it in a way where here you could see where due is within the next week. It only shows you the tasks that are due in the next week. And I thought this would be a good touch because you want to be able to just glance at your homepage and then know exactly what's due within the week. And then the data under the due dates is actually from this template called deadlines. This is what it looks like. So I just put a cute picture there and also a quote and you can easily customize that to your liking. And here is what the due dates I mentioned earlier is. And I labeled it as coming up. You can only see the tasks that are due within the next week. And then underneath, it's another way of looking at all of your due dates. Um, for here, it's organized by each class. So you could see what's due that way. And then also you can easily label these classes as whatever you're taking. And then underneath that, I labeled it all due. And then that is basically the main database with all of the things that are due. So once you update this table, it should show up up here. And if it's within the week, it should also show up up here. So I designed these templates to mimic what I have in my physical planner. And in my physical planner, I have tasks organized by classes. And then I also have a weekly section where I can see what's due every single week. And then let's go back to the home page. So next I have this planner section. Right now I just have a daily plan template. And here you could see tasks. You can organize it by school, work, um, if you're a part of a club. And then if you want to add a different category of your life, you could just click add group here. And then let's say it's for volunteer. Then you could start listing off tasks down here. And then I have this hourly section where you could label your tasks with the time period you want to work in so time blocking and then it would show up in your hourly calendar here so this is a good option if you don't want to do a mixed planner system so for me i use a physical planner and google calendar because that's um, the only way to do it without having a hourly physical planner. But if you just want to use one system that contains everything, then this is a really good option. Going back to the homepage. Um, so I have a notes section and if you go in here, it just has little pages that you can open up and use as your notes section. And then I also added categories to label everything. So if it's 
notes for my work or school or life or it's some kind of inspiration. Um, it's a really good way to stay organized that way. And then back to home, I have my health dashboard. And in here, you can actually put your favorite quote here so it looks super aesthetic and also motivating. Um, I have an appointments column with a drop down menu. So if you have like appointments you need to make, if you have upcoming appointments, you can put it under there and also hide it so it won't look so messy. And then I have a to-do list. So whatever health related to-do lists um, you can make in here. And then I also put a section for notes from appointment because I find that if I don't take notes during my appointment with my doctor, I end up forgetting everything that they told me and then it's just like a total waste of time. <laughs> so I put another drop down menu where I put action items, goals, prescription, important. And then you could just put your notes that way. And then I have my healthy eating goals and fitness goals. And you can easily change these categories to whatever you need. And then this is another table. And I find this to be really cool because um, if you're trying to do like a weekly habit or a daily habit, so let's say your habit one is to drink water, you could set the due date and then click check once you've done it. Um, if you have another habit you're tracking, you could check. Another habit you could check. And you could see that in the progress tab, there's like a percentage thing so you could easily see how much you've done and you can skim that column to see how well you were doing every single day. And this is just using a little formula. And if you have more than three habits, you could just change the formula to add in one more habit and then divide it by the number of habits you have. And then we're gonna go back to home. And then the last thing in this column is the habit tracker. So this is basically the same thing that was underneath the health dashboard. Um, but if you have habits that are not related to health, you could just use this template and it has that formula thing again. And you can easily change the formula to count however many habits that you're keeping track of that semester. And then back to home, the last thing I wanted to show you is this journal section. So if you click into one of these, so let's click March and open it as a page, you could see that there's a cute header and it's a GIF. And then for every single month, I created this template where you could put an inspirational quote or something that's been resonating with you that month. Um, if you like making playlists for each month, you could also just embed the link for an audio thing. Gratitude, you could practice gratitude that way and it's in a list format. So once you list one and hit return, you could get to number two. Also have a section for worries and troubles, deep thoughts, monthly highlights, and reflection. And I think this is a really good standard way to reflect every single month so you don't have to you know spend money buying a planner if you're into digitally doing things so now that we got through all of the templates i want to give you some tips on how to use notion so the first tip is to just keep it practical you can have a very complicated system with all of these linked databases and all of these formulas but at the end of the day if you don't need those extra features then you're just wasting time building all of your templates to be honest i have to admit that the home page that i just showed you guys is still unnecessary Honestly, in my previous semester, I just used the deadlines template and that was like 80% of my organization that semester. And my second tip is to check it every single day. Just like with any other planning system, if you're not gonna check it, then you might as well not even have a planning system. I make sure to check my planner at the beginning of the day so I know what I'll be doing for the rest of the day and then sometime in the noon so I get like a reset and I know what I have left for the end of the day and then at nighttime just to migrate tasks over to the next day 
and also to be able to preview what I'll be doing the next day. So my third tip is to sort it according to your needs. So for me, I like working in chronological order where the next thing that's due will be at the top of my list, but you might care more about how much each assignment is worth for your overall grade or you might care about how difficult it is and all that stuff, you can easily add a column to indicate how important that task is to you or you can also indicate how difficult the task is or how time consuming the task is. And you can use the sort function to sort it in order of difficulty, priority, or how much time you need. So that was it for my template tour. I'll make sure to link the template down below so you could just grab it and use it as your template and you don't need to waste any time trying to create one on your own. Let me know if you want to see another Notion video like this and if I didn't mention a function that you use on Notion often, make sure to comment that down below. As always, thank you so much for watching till the end of the video and I hope you have a sunny day.